Meditation is a kind of compassion for yourself and for the people around you. Because we all suffer from greed, aversion, and illusion, and it is suffering. It's a disease in the mind. These diseases make us suffer not only within, but also lead us to do all kinds of unskillful things outside as well. So as you're sitting here with your eyes closed doing nothing, you're actually doing a lot. You're digging down and finding where are the causes of suffering in this life. And it's not because things are too hot or too cold or anything outside. It's how the mind makes itself suffer over things that don't really require that you suffer. And so we get the mind quiet. So one, we can see where it's making itself suffer, and two, that that suffering is really unnecessary. A lot of the stories we tell ourselves, a lot of the ideas and attitudes we carry around really do lead to a lot of suffering. But you have to be discerning, because the path to the end of suffering also requires that you hold on to some things and carry them around for a while. And there will be some stress in the path. It's just a normal part of conditioned things. So you have to use your discernment to figure out what kind of suffering is going to be helpful and what kind of suffering is actually an obstacle. But as long as you keep that distinction in mind, realize that it's there, then you begin to see it. This is one of the reasons why the Buddhist teachings are so important, because a lot of the things that we need to know and need to see are here right in front of our eyes, or even closer than our eyes. And yet we don't see them because we don't know the distinctions. We don't realize that there can be a distinction. So be alert to the fact that there is some stress in the path, and that's going to be necessary as a part of putting an end to suffering. But there's an awful lot of stuff that's totally unnecessary. And we get our minds quiet so that we can see the distinction, figure out which is which. And we see something is totally unnecessary, then we can drop it. If you see something is weighing you down and you don't have to carry it, why carry it? So keep those questions in mind, keep those distinctions in mind, because that's how concentration leads to discernment, realizing that it's not just a matter of getting the mind still and quiet, but it's on using that stillness and that quiet in order to see things you didn't notice before, see distinctions you didn't see before, and put them to the best use.